Hey, yo, what's up, guys? My name is EQZ, and welcome back to another episode here. A uh, bit of a different episode. So I'm, I said I was going to start doing uh, experiments uh, once a week. So it ended up being on a... I'm going to upload this on Thursday, I think. Or actually, uh, Wednesday night for me. So maybe Thursday morning for some of you guys uh, around the world. But basically, we're going to take over a team and, you know, try to do a certain objective. So today... We are taking over Lutton Town. They just been promoted to the Premier League and they're looking to stay here. So we're going to take them over and we're going to try to see if we can, you know, pretty much for the first part, survive. And I'm going to give myself like two more seasons to essentially try to win the Premier League. Now, it's going to be very, very difficult. Um, I did a poll recently asking you guys if I should, you know, do a financial takeover um, or just stay with the money that the team gives me now uh with this team i it's pretty difficult you know so i will give myself a little bit of money that's not going to be too much i'm only going to give myself 50 million and that's going to only be at the beginning and after this they're going to give me the regular money so i think that's I, I think it's fair just because you know it's uh i think you only get like 20 million with Latin town i'm pretty sure if you do a career mode with them and it's just within three seasons it's, it's very difficult to actually win the premier league if that's what our objective is going to be so we're going to try to survive the first season pretty much but i think we'll be able to especially with the influx of cash um we're obviously going to be able to survive you know it's the next two seasons that are really really important so if you look at our transfer budget right here immediately for Lutton Town, so we're at 66 million which is still not even i don't even think it's enough to win the league to be honest um over the course of however many se three seasons we're going to try to do this in so it's going to be very difficult i'm going to try to get as much players as much good players and build around this squad to see if we can potentially try to win the premier league but the first objective of the first season is just going to be to try and survive honestly that's going to be our main objective and then we'll worry about trying to win the premier league in the next two other seasons so i'm going to go ahead and round up some transfers just get some transfers going here and i'll show you guys the transfers once they go through and you guys will see and i'll start simming and we'll see our progress through about halfway I'll, I'll stop in january i'll check our progress and then from there we'll finish the season and we'll see where we landed at the end of the season but right now i'm going to try to look for some transfers to get to this team so we can start building around it uh yeah let's get let's get to it guys Alrighty, guys our first transfer of the summer transfer in our first season diego lion is on a free transfer of course um this is probably one of the easiest ways to get players in the first season uh you know a lot of these players that play in the liga mx obviously they don't have the league in the game so they're as free transfers in career mode so it's going to be a lot of bargains here we've got two more players we're going to try to go for gallardo and acevedo and then i got my other players that i'm scouting here that we could potentially try and get um you know just players who maybe aren't really superstar caliber but they are solid and will be good enough to start for our team at least and do well so i'm gonna attempt to sign some of these other players first and we're gonna wait for other scout reports just to see what our options are for uh these other players and our second signing jesus gallardo from again the free agent market and he's a left back he's going to be slotting right into our defense and he's going to help bolster up our defense he is 75 or 76 rated actually and it's going to be very very good for him to be in our team and our third signing from the free agent market carlos acevedo goalkeeper in desperate need of a good goalkeeper so he's going to help bolster up our goalkeeper for sure 78 rated so it's going to be very well for him to be right in the squad as well and that's our third signing so far of the transfer window and our first official i guess uh signing that we paid money with and here he is he's coming right away uh actually that is not him it's gonna be this guy right here andres Pereira, 14 and a half million from fulham and he comes into our squad to replace our center attacking mid position i need to show you guys the, the formation actually so we're gonna go with a 4-1-2-1-2 wide formation uh let me just show you guys really quickly here so if we take a look this is going to be our formation so i'm just going to start putting some of these players in already um that we have bought i mean we have a decent starting 11 now with the new players that we got um like i said gallardo he slips right into uh, left back there acevedo slips in at goalkeeper and then diego line is is at right mid and you know i'm pretty much not going to get strikers these two guys right here are pretty decent i think they can just do good on their own uh together so we have these guys backing them up i'm gonna look to get another center back a right back and then a left winger and i think honestly after we do that i think our team should be solid if i have enough money maybe i'll go for another position but right now we are at 40 million now after those transfers so we're cutting it close we could have maybe two more 
uh, signings of about 10 mil each. That would be good enough. And our technically our fourth or fifth signing actually is going to be this lad right here. Pablo Fornals from West Ham United. We're, we're just picking from all of these uh, Premier League clubs. You know, Pablo Fornals, um, you know, not really good enough to get starting position in West Ham, it seems like. So he definitely is going to be a shiny superstar here. And he's going to slot in at that left mid position. And we only spent about 12 and a half million for him. So it's not too bad of a fee uh, for a player, for a caliber of his player. For a player of his caliber, in my opinion, I think he, he's he's a solid player. So, looking at our team now, it looks pretty good. I'm just going to try to get a right back and a center back to complement this team. And I think, honestly, that with that, it will be really, really solid. And we got our sixth signing here. It's going to be our lad, Ben Johnson, once again from West Ham United. We're just getting all these players who, honestly, really don't start for their team. More bench players and, you know, they're good enough to start in our team for now. And he will grow as well. He's only 22 years old, 74 rated. So he will definitely grow. We got him for a fee of $8 million. So that was uh, not too bad at all. And look at that. He slots right into our right back position as well, which is good for us. And, you know, with this, we also have some decent depth with all these other players that we already previously had. I think it, it gives some gives us some good depth. So yeah, the team's looking good. The team is looking good. I'm optimistic. And I'm hoping with this uh, sort of team, we can actually do something in the premier league maybe the first season um right now what i'm gonna try to do we have about 15 million left i'm gonna try to see if i can get a solid you know center back partner so that we can partner up with lockyer because bradley is just you know it's not high rate enough for me so we're gonna try to see if we can find someone and if we can't i think we're gonna keep like the team like that and maybe in the january transfer window we could try to find some pre-contracts or something and this is probably going to be our last signing, Israel Reyes from the free agent market once again. I thought I wasn't going to get any more free agent, but I found this guy while searching center backs, and I mean, I just I couldn't I couldn't pass him up. You know, I'm I'm doing everything we can to win the Premier League right now. So, you know, if it's free agents and we got a lot of Mexican players, which is good good chemistry between these lads, but he is going to slot right into. He's going to replace Bradley, unfortunately, and look at that, he's 75 rated, so he's a good 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 rating for us and looking at the team i think it's pretty decent if we look at our budget we still have about 12 million what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna sign another center back which i think that could help us and we're gonna call it like that and call it a day for the summer transfer window and we're gonna start simming to see how we do in the premier league but let me just sign my last player real quick and we get on to it and here he is our last signing of the summer transfer window legend bonucci leonardo de bucci bonucci from Juventus is going to be our last signing. He's going to pair up right in our in our center back position. Look at that, 82 rated. So he is going to be our highest rated player, which is pretty insane. But he's going to have that veteran status that we need and that that experience that we really are are kind of lacking, I guess, because we have a pretty young team. I'm not going to lie, a lot of these players are pretty young. So he will definitely be able to command his team, and I'm going to make him captain right away. Uh, let's go ahead and give him the captain armband. There you go. And there it is, guys. So we have a pretty solid team, in my opinion. I think everything looks pretty good. Our bench is a little weak, though, in my opinion. But other than that, I think everyone is looking solid. And I think we have a good chance of surviving. I think we will survive. Um, but it's all down to whether or not the players can actually deliver. Alrighty, guys. So we're going to start simming our first game of the Premier League. Now, I'm just going to show you guys this first game. And then I'm going to sim the rest um, on its own to see how we do. But let's see if the boys can get a first game in the Premier League. Uh, the first win. Can they do it? We're going to quick sim it here. And can they win their game? They get a draw, which isn't too bad. I expected, honestly, I didn't expect too much from our lads on the first day. But, you know, it's first day jitters. A lot of these boys are new. Haven't had much time together. Pretty much a whole revamped team. So it is definitely going to take them uh, a couple of a couple of games to get used to the playing with each other. But for now, it's going to have to be like that. And I'm going to start simming, guys. And I'll see you guys when we hit January. Alrighty, guys. So we are in the 1st of January. Unfortunately, man, this is why I don't like simming, you know, just by itself. Because we did lose a player um, that was on loan for us. But apparently, he wasn't getting playing time. And so they recalled him back from loan, unfortunately. So he was our CDM. He was 75 rated. He could have really helped us. So 
that is unfortunate and reyes who we got from free transfer got injured for three months so hopefully he'll be back soon but let's take a look at the standings where we're at let's take a look where we are at in the premier league and right now we are in 12th place so not too bad six wins four draws and 11 losses um right now we're definitely middle of the middle of the pack and hopefully that's kind of where we finish i would like to finish a little bit higher if we can but so far it's looking not too bad we're looking good for survival um that's going to be pretty much it for that we have no really budget to spend in the generate transfer window so i'm just going to start simming once again to the end of the season to see if we did survive the premier league Alrighty, guys so we have finished simming the rest of the season so let's see if we did survive i, I think we did and look at that yes we did 15 places when we came in near the bottom it was kind of close uh seven points off the relegation zone but we did it and so that's the first season done and dusted we survived the premier league not too bad let's go ahead and look at our squad stats really quickly here um so top goal scorer of the season was elijah adebayo with 20 goals in 43 appearances and then right next to him was carlton morris and a couple of surprises woodrow got nine but pereira um doesn't really look like uh actually looks like fornells didn't score a goal at, at all which is insane he did get nine assists though and second place there pereira get 11 assists and lion is five so it looks like the wingers and the midfielders really were supplying the goals and um the strikers were obviously scoring them which is you know it's just standard but that is the season done and dusted guys and we're gonna go ahead and sim to the uh, end of the season here and taking a look here so the emirates fa cup round six is when we got knocked out the carabao cup we only made it to round three and of course we got 15 plays there so we're gonna go ahead and end the season they still want us to be the manager of next season so that's what we're gonna do keep going so we've got second season coming up hopefully we can get some more players to build around the already ever-growing squad that we have already and you know that would be great to to make it even better so that in the second season we kind of make a push maybe for top 10 uh at, at the best but you know we have two more seasons so honestly i want to make a, a break for the top six already in my opinion and we're gonna try to do so so the budget they gave us is 50 million now which isn't too bad it's actually a decent amount of money i think i'm gonna get two players i'm gonna try to get two players or maybe just one um we will see how it goes we lost Benucci. he only had a one-year deal and i didn't want to re-sign him i just thought it was not necessary for us to re-sign him so i'm gonna try to get a striker for this season uh, a real superstar striker and i think honestly with that we should be able to do some good damage so i'm gonna try to see who we can get and i'll let you guys know which player we end up getting all right guys our first summer transfer signing of the second season is gonna be it's not really a superstar signing but he is decent ben yetter from tottenham hotspur for 30 million quite a hefty price honestly and he's he's 32 years old um I mean, he's 82 rated, 83 rated. I think he'll do good for us the first season. Um, we did sign him on one year only. I will try to re-sign him hopefully next season if we can keep him on. Um, but the reason why I did that was because we're letting go some of some of our players and we're going to need some backup. Uh, this guy right here, Lockyer, at the uh, center back position might be on the move. So I, I do need to make sure I get a center back who is going to fill in for that position. So I left myself a little bit of money, um, about 15 million, not too much, but... I will try to get another center back here. So let's see who I can get. All right, guys. I think we got an absolute steal with this guy. Pablo Mari from Arsenal for only 6 million. And he's already 70. I think he's 76. 76 rated. I mean, he's 29 years old. But that's pretty much prime years for a center back. And he is going to be definitely, definitely very good for our team here. And he slots right in next to Reyes. So we have a good partnership between him and Reyes already right there at that center back position. So our team is looking good now. We just got to get Morris off here for Ben Yetter. And Morris is still going to get some playing time. He's going to be on the bench. Good little backup there. But our team is looking significantly better. I think uh, Morris, obviously, Morris to Ben Yetter is an absolute upgrade. And then we have Mari to replace. Um, I mean, Bonucci was already 77 rated by the time he left our club. So it's pretty much not really a replacement. But this guy is quicker um and we just have we have a good squad now i think we have a decent squad and we could try to definitely compete for something this season hopefully um it just really all depends on how the boys are looking but that might be it for my transfer window we only got five mil and i do want to make some re-signings in the january so i'm le leaving myself a little bit of room there um but i'm gonna start simming here guys season two let's kick it off and let's see if we could potentially uh you know challenge for something this season 
Alrighty, guys, so we have sim to the first of January. Let's go ahead and check out our standings here to see we are, where we are at in the Premier League. I'm hoping it's it's better than last time. Um, and it's actually worse. So we're at, well, I think actually, were we at 15th? I don't remember. We ended up on 15th last time, but no, I think we did much better in our first season. So this season is not looking too good. It looks like five wins, seven draws, and nine losses. And we're in 15th place. I thought we would be able to compete for something, but it's not looking good for Latin Town right now. And, you know, I don't have, uh, I have about 14 million in the budget. So perhaps, just maybe, I can sign a player here late in the season that can help us. Maybe a CDM is what I'm gonna look for here. So I'm gonna try to see if I can find a CDM here and that could potentially help us for the rest of the season. All right, so I did get a pre-contract deal with Nakamba, who was actually on loan for us uh, not too long ago, and that's when we ended up losing him for some reason. So when the, the third season, when it starts, he will join our squad. But right now, I'm looking to get someone right now. So we're going to see who I can find, um, but he will definitely join our squad for next season, and that will be massive for us. Alrighty, guys, so we managed to sign a CDM for the time being, uh, Lemina. Sign him for $7.2 million dollars and he's gonna be he got a three-year contract so hopefully maybe he'll stay maybe we can sell him for extra money if we need to the next summer but i'm gonna for sure keep him and he's gonna definitely help booster up that cdm position that we're so desperately needing right now um it's, it's actually unbelievable but we're looking good so far so i'm gonna send the rest of the second season to see where we end up um but right now it's honestly not looking too well i'm just hoping the boys can somehow pull this off but we're gonna go ahead and sim to the end of the season and i'll see you guys there Alrighty guys, so we have sim to the end of the season and look at this. We might have gotten relegated here Who knows what happens, but we ended up in 14th place not too shabby But i'm wondering what is going on here. It looks like we could be uh, getting the sack here anytime soon Just because we are in the red mark. I've never really been in that red mark. So yeah, let's just see what what happens here We might get sacked. We might not let's go ahead and sim to the rest uh, end of the season to see if we do get the sack if we do um, you know that concludes the the experiment and it just kind of proves that in order to take this club to the Premier League top top level we need to we need to have a bunch of cash and you know we, we I only gave myself about 150 or about 50 million sorry and even then it was still was not enough you know at least 100 million would have been probably better um, because with 100 million you can get a couple of good really good players but let's see what they say here so we ended up 14th place Ended up in 14th place, round four of the FA Cup, round four of the Carabao Cup. And let's end season. And let's see. They are going to say that uh, they're not going to rush into anything. So we're going to, one more season we have, one more season we have the chance to try and win the Premier League. Um, you know, it's no big deal, I guess. I, and the main objective of this one was really to 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 survive the Prem, but not, not only survive, at least, you know, compete for a top four, top six spot. Um, but winning the Premier League, I knew it was going to be a stretch with the amount of money that we were given. Uh, I just think to rebuild a team like that, you really do need a lot of money. So it's unfortunate, but we're going to try to see if we can try to do it in this last season. It's going to be hard, but uh, we'll, we'll try it. Alrighty, season three. Let's see. We got about 58 million. So pretty much where we've been at for the past couple of seasons. So let's see if we can bolster up our squad. Um, we lost Ben Yetter. He only had a year on his contract, so he's going to be gone. So we're going to have to look for another striker. And I think I'm going to be spending the cash on a striker because everywhere else, we are looking pretty decent. So if we just get a real superstar here at the striker position, I think we will be solid in my opinion. Alrighty, guys. Our summer transfer signing is going to be Angel Correa from Manchester United for $41.2 million. 83 rated. Honestly, guys, it is very difficult to get a really, really good player um for the price of about 50 million i tried getting skamaka at first i ended up uh i got i agreed on a, a fee with west ham but i did not have enough for his wage so it fell through there so we had to go to the next one which was Correa. i was debating between him and lukaku they're only one rating apart and Correa is uh like two years younger so i figured it'd probably just be better since he probably won't degrade as much but that's really gonna be it most likely for our tr summer transfer window because I mean, just looking at this here, we have, uh, looking at our wage, if we look at our budget now, we pretty much have no money. We have about 9 million, which is, I think, is really not going to be enough um, to get another decent player, I think. I think right now we're looking we're looking good. We're, we have a good squad, but um, yeah, it's just not looking good for, for us right here. But hopefully, I'm hoping that the team will step up a bit. 
um but it's gonna be very difficult to win we'll have to have like a leicester city type of uh type of season where we're gonna have to just you know scrape it out and hope that the other teams also don't do as good but we're gonna start simming and we'll see what happens guys Alrighty, guys so we have reached the uh first sim of the first half of the season we're just gonna take a look at our emails here and look at that out of bio out three months man that is just not what we want to see huh taking a look at the standings guys we are in 12th place which is not too bad actually uh, a little bit better than when we have been previously been placed but still not really title contending is that we should be already in second and third so it's looking unlikely we're gonna win the season unfortunately but we'll see anything can happen at this point we're gonna go ahead and sim the rest of the season and let's see if we can try to win it and i have just received some bad news guys contract terminated they have sacked me and that is going to be it for Lutton Takeover. We tried. We honestly tried our best, but we could just not do it. And what we're going to do here is we're going to try to see, try to get with another team here. Um, this is the only team we can take, Preston. And we're going to try to see how uh, how Lutton do at the end of the season. I'm still going to sim it just to see what happens here. Um, just for the banter. But yeah, it's just not looking good. Alrighty, guys. So we have reached the end of the season, and let's see. First off, did I even survive with Preston? We didn't. We got relegated. But let's go ahead and check out where Lutton Town is. And look at that. They ended in 13. So, I mean, we were pretty much doing what we were doing. I don't know why they sacked me. I the, they said the confidence in me was very low. Maybe because I wasn't doing the objectives that they wanted me to do. But um, yeah, we got sacked. But unfortunately, our first experiment has failed. Lutton Town. I mean, it's not really a failure. We three seasons we took them and they have survived the Premier League. Not a lot of teams can say that. I mean, Preston here, they have a, uh, they've been promoted and they're relegated back to the Championship. So, in a way, we did good, but we did have an influx of cash. So, uh, but in terms of winning the Premier League, yeah, it's very difficult to really win when you only have about like 50 million in the uh in the budget each each i mean each transfer window even is not it's not a significant amount but that's gonna be it for me guys i hope you guys enjoy sorry if it went on a little bit too long i didn't want to make this video too long it takes a long time to record i just noticed so i hope you guys enjoyed leave a comment down below what team i should do next i think the next one i'm gonna do is leicester city someone already recommended me that team since they did get relegated um but and let me know any other teams and it doesn't have to necessarily be Premier League teams as well. It can be other teams, you know, La Liga team. Um, and just, you know, just let me know what teams you guys would like to me to see. Leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. And remember to subscribe if you guys are new. We're almost at 500 subs. We're about 7 subscribers away. So if you guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And help us, uh, help me hit 500 subscribers. And that would be such, such an accomplishment for me. Halfway to 1,000, which is our ultimate. I mean, not our ultimate goal, but... A big goal for mine is, you know, to hit a thousand. But yeah, I guess that's going to be it for me today. And I'll see you guys in the next one.